G'day fellow collectors, Sci-Fi back again with yet another action figure review. And it's Halloween, yay. Unreal, I like Halloween, it's a pretty cool celebration, hey? I don't know, some people in Australia go, it's all American, it's all American, but no, it can be anything, you know? Other countries celebrate the dead and the spooky stuff and whatnot, Valpurgisnacht and... What's that, Mexican Day of the Dead? Yeah, that sort of thing, yeah. Here we are, I'm now looking at, and a series that I'm really getting into is Star Wars and or Love it. Great stuff. Yeah, there's the box. That's the only one I could find so far. Um, but yeah, there we are. And it's number three. Again, on the old box. We're going to call them old boxes now, aren't we? Yeah, because you're going to get all the new whole plastic-free packaging. Personally, I don't mind. Um, so I pull them out as long as they're not broken or damaged or quality control is ridiculous, even though I still can't see what's in there. Best thing to do, guys, give it a bit of a shake. If it rattles, don't buy it. And because of the price, very careful. So there's some nice pictures there. Same artist, very cool. All right, let's look at the figure. Very cool. And there I am, I'm in handheld goodness here. And very, very gloomy light, sorry. The light here is exceptionally dark because it's cloudy, rainy, windy. Yeah, everything you expect for October 31st. Not really, it should be sunny. Should be downstairs and doing this, but anyways. See what I can see. Yeah. Nice. I like it. And one other reason I bought this, I mean, it's all got some great paintwork and whatnot, and that looks cool. I don't know if it's all correct. It looks cool. Correct for the Andor series, mind you, not Rogue One. I've seen many different, well, not many, I've seen a few reviews on it. <coughs> and yeah, anything I can think of, um, the gun. It's a sand-coloured weapon and small compared to the weapons they used in Andor. Sorry, in Rogue One. I want to go Andor, Rogue One. <coughs> I'm going to mispronounce a lot of things. All right, so there we are. It's pretty darn cool. And yeah, as I said, one of the only reasons I bought it could because I'll just say I watched um, Fly Guy and... On the Fly Guy channel, I watched Steve and Matt do their six-inch show. And Matt made a very good comment, and it's a comment I sort of believe in. Now, Andor being a great show, um, it's not very figure-friendly. Most of them are either repacked stormtroopers or whatnot. The droid, the little compact droid that actually speaks English, he's cool. I wouldn't mind getting one of those. But the rest of us humans in either imperial clothing or other type of clothing. Don't get me wrong, Stellan Skarsgård, um, the actor that plays Andor's mum. I know her. I've, well, I've watched her in many movies for many years. I don't know. It's not... There's no crazy aliens. There's no, no humans with crazy helmets or whatever. It's just me. This is what I do, you know. It's like people today would be probably putting up reviews of action figures of, you know, Halloween, the new Halloween Star Wars set. And I'm just like, yeah, no way. No thanks. Not for me. People do what they want to do in their collection. Oh, let's just bounce back out. That's not good. There we go. But anyways, I don't mind this. Again, here we go. I'm just bouncing off. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting many of these Andor figures because it's all maybe Andor himself. The only one I've got is the cold weather Andor when he goes and was going to assassinate Genoso's father and whatnot in that cold. I think that's where he was. He's got the big sort of hand solo type uh, Hoff outfit looking thing. But yeah, so um, yeah, the only other reason I got this is because I was looking at. 
some other uh, reviews on him, and I, th I went and had a look to see if it was the same as, because they did comparisons and whatnot. Guess what? I don't own one. <laughs> out of all the... You now, when Rogue One came out, I went and bought absolutely every single 5POA, 375, TVC if I could, 6-inch one, and guess what? I passed up or just forgot. Forgot. Good grief. But anyways, I can show you some sort of comparisons. Bear with me. Right, I'm sort of glad I'm going handheld now. That's why. It's the Hot Toys. Sure, Trooper. But first, let's have a look. I mean, yeah, I can see a few different paint scribes and washes and whatnots. Of course, it's the 5 POA. You're not going to get much different, except for the larger gun, which it should have had. Well, it did have in... You know, people are going to get all picky about the little red mark there. But, yeah, where it is, where it's placed, how it's positional, whatnot. I don't know. Yeah, then compare it to... <clears throat> sorry, again... Handheld goodness. By the way, he stands well. Gonna go nicely in my Rogue One shelf, that guy is, because it's the only it's one of the reasons why I got it. I haven't got one. Good grief, how do I forget that? There we are. Uh, Jason, middle aged Kiwi man, collecting Star Wars figures. That's for you, my friend. That's as movie accurate as you're going to get. It's a good one. These shore troopers are great. Yep. Fabric pants. All those little buckles can be undone and whatnot. And plus it comes with an incredibly detailed rifle. Scuffs and whatnots on the paint. There we are. All right. I hope you dig that. Jason, if you're watching. There's other stuff there, you see. The, the, yeah, strap. Yeah, don't know what to do with that. But yeah, there we are. Love them. Very cool. My three different versions there. I will take a quick photo and chuck it up on Instagram and whatnot. All right. <clears throat> yeah, this is not a bad one. If you don't have one of these from Rogue One, Get the Andor one, that's what I'm doing, and of course, yeah, alright guys, there we go, I'll leave it at that, I do have another video maybe later on, I don't know when, one sec, one handed here, got more of these shelves, more of these Anko three tiered shelves, yep, on the rise again, I've got some ideas where to put them, looking at you, the Rebellion, up there from Hoth and over here, Predator. I want to get that shelf sort of spaced out and better looking. But all right, <clears throat> there we are. So that's your Shaw Trooper. Don't know what other figures they're going to make in Andor. I mean, would love that little human speaking droid. That'd be cool. But all right. That's cool. Sorry about the doom and gloom. The gloom. Yep. And here's hoping we get some more action figures soon. All right, guys, I'm going to basically hit the 10 minute mark in about half a minute. So chit chatting away. All right. Always nice to see the comments down below. Jump on board. Thank you for watching and all of that. All right. Sci-fi out, and the force is with you, always.